Let's talk about Guy Ritchie's The Gentleman, the TV show, not the movie. What's up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to the channel. Like I said, today we are talking The Gentleman, a spinoff of sorts. I'm a fan of Guy Ritchie. I really enjoyed the movie, but is the TV show just as good? I didn't ask for any of this. The title has no practical value. The business is broken. So Eddie inherits a family estate, initially unaware it's home to a drug empire run by a syndicate that has no plans to vacate. This guy Richie, so it's TV mature, there's language, drugs, violence, all the things that you expect from a Guy Richie movie or TV show. He doesn't direct every episode here, but he directs a few of them. I think the biggest thing that I can say about this show that's positive is I couldn't tell when Guy Ritchie wasn't there because the style that he implements from the get-go is very consistent throughout the show. Uh, there are times where I'm watching a TV show and I'm like, yeah, there's a director, obviously he's gone or she's gone in this episode, but I couldn't really tell. And that's a good thing. That style stays true to who Guy Ritchie is. Uh, gangsters, drugs, the outfits, the time period-ish, sort of, uh, it all stays very consistent throughout a lot of his films. And like I said, you know when a movie is directed by Richie, that's very true here, and that's good. I like it a lot. In the first episode, the legendary Mickey Pearson, he passes away, and everyone's expecting him to pass all of this down to one of the sons, but it turns out that's not exactly what happens, and it makes for some chaos in the opening episode involving some violence, some drugs, and a chicken suit. And you see in the poster, it's really funny the way that comes about. It makes for some great television that implements humor beautifully. I thought this was just as funny of a show. Not really laugh out loud, but just, you know, quirky, charming. What Guy Ritchie does best, when he does it best, and not when it falls apart like it has before. What do you mean by that? Yeah, but just as charming in that way as it is violent, and man, oh man, it's really violent. I would say maybe not as much action as a lot of people are anticipating, but it's definitely violence and the brutality of that violence that carries through and stays true to that TV mature rating. Uh, but we are in a time, and with this family, really with Eddie, who's played by Theo James, he's just trying to get his family out from underneath the clutches of these crazy people, these quirky characters that continue to come in and think they are a part of this, and, and they are, but he doesn't want them to be. So he's trying to find a way out. But the further he gets, the deeper this goes, with his brother Freddy and the character of Susie, we'll talk about these other characters here in a second, uh, the more things start to turn in a different direction for him and those involved. And there are so many interesting aspects like a cat and mouse chase. Well, we're not gangsters, but we have to beat the gangsters at their own game. There are a lot of things here that make this show way more interesting than I anticipated. I didn't want to rehash uh, from the Gentleman movie that we got. I wanted it to feel different. And while the vibe is very similar, uh, some may even watch this and find it to be like an off-brand version of the Gentleman, the movie because, oh, the stars aren't as big, but Theo James, he carries his weight. He's very good as Eddie, and then his brother Freddie, played by Daniel Ings, is outrageous. I mean, he's the guy running around the chicken suit in the first episode. Excited for you to figure out why that actually happens, uh, but it's a, it's a great dynamic. It's a dynamic that's hilarious in the beginning because he's throwing an absolute fit in that first episode, uh, but we slowly learn more about them-ish. Caius Godolero as Susie. I love the chemistry between Susie and Eddie, and when they're walking in to a room, they make their presence known just by the way that they carry themselves, and that is really important. I mean, individually, she does that in the opening episode, but when they all get together for the first time, I'm like, I love, I just love them on screen together. I love the vibe that I'm getting. Just seeing that banner before I watch this show, I'm like, yeah, there's something about it. It really works. It had that really interesting gangster vibe that I expected. You have others in here like a Vinnie Jones, people that you're going to uh, recognize. Maybe they're in there for a while. Maybe they're not. But it's a show that keeps you on your toes. You may or may not expect what's going to happen next. And I'm not even talking about the next episode. I'm talking about the next scene. Eight episodes, each one around 45 minutes. The opening episode is around an hour. And I did start to feel the length. But uh, there is something about the pacing of Richie's movies. And again, that carries over that allows this to go by a lot quicker than it should have. I binged it. I don't know if I would fully recommend a binge because it's a little lengthy, but it was an easy binge 
because the pacing, I mean, it's rampant, it's upbeat, it will keep you on your toes, on the edge of your seat. You may be a little like, I don't know if this, this dialogue may be a little too over the top at times. And it is. And I didn't fully embrace every scene, every moment that was supposed to pack a punch. But the ones that I did, I was really appreciative of. And if you've never seen Guy Ritchie and you're like, oh, gangsters, like Scorsese, Goodfellas, it's not like that. It's so different and distinct, but there's also this realism to it that somehow maintains, I mean, he keeps it intact throughout all of the wildness. It's almost like a Matthew Vaughn-ish type of feel. And I'm describing this to people who don't know Guy Ritchie. If you know Guy Ritchie, you know exactly what you're in for. And in the show, there are times where they show the violence and the madness happening on screen, and there are other times where they either cut away or the camera pans or it tilts, and, and they go about it in a creative way to where you still know exactly what's happening or it's about to happen. But the way he keeps you on your toes throughout, where other directors would just do it as you expect it to be done, Guy Ritchie or whoever is directing that specific episode is like, yeah, well, let's do it this way. It seems more fun and creative. And with creativity and off decision making like that, not everything's going to work. So there were times while watching The Gentleman TV Show where I'm like, yeah, that may be a little too much, a little too over the top. I don't know if this character serves the purpose that you intend on, but okay, I see why you did it. And it carries on the show to where it may just be, I mean, as a whole, one episode, too long taking all of the things that slowed down through all of the episodes. It's also not a story you haven't seen before, so if you're going into this hoping for a revolutionary experience and it's a tale that I've never been told, well, you may be disappointed, but the characters are so entertaining and the moments, the scenes are so much fun. It's like, that's what you want while watching a show like this. You just want to have fun with it. I don't believe you. Before I give you my score, the ultimate question that I need in the comments down below, which one do you like more, the movie or the TV show? And what's your favorite Guy Ritchie thing that you've seen so far. Also, if you enjoyed this review and you want to see more, subscribe, like, uh, share. Send it to your best friend. And if you're the best friend, your friend hates you. Guy Ritchie's style translates beautifully to this format, and these characters are ridiculously entertaining. The story may not stand out, but the explosive sequences and cheeky approach makes it a fun binge and I had a pretty good time while watching this. It's definitely that British gangster type of story, uh, but everyone does a nice job. What, what can I say? I liked it. Let me know what you're watching on Netflix this weekend or on streaming and come back because we have plenty of reviews and the Oscars on Sunday. Expect a video of some sort. See you soon.